if you're going on vacation in the Gulf or up the Carolina coast, we need to pay attention to the news going forward. Uh, the last 11 runs of the GSF model has showed a possible hurricane. Now it's only one model, nothing set in stone, but uh, here's some more news from local meteorologists down in Texas. It is a, a real possible threat. We'll just have to see as we go forward. Still be a little less than three weeks away, but today our friends at AccuWeather identified this potential tropical development zone. We've been getting preseason developments the past several years, and it's possible between May 20th and May 25th. So starting towards the end of next week, there's a low chance that we may see something try to spin up here in the Western Caribbean or the Southeastern Gulf of Mexico. It's generated by something called the Central American Gyre, and this is a very broad circulation that tends to develop in May and June. And within that broader circulation, there can be more concentrated areas of low pressure that develop on either side of Central America. Sometimes we get twin tropical depression developments when these do form, and so we'll be watching this carefully as we get towards the end of next week. The National Hurricane Center, starting this Sunday, will begin issuing their five-day tropical weather outlooks, and we'll see what they say and when they weigh in come Sunday. Now, when it comes to May storms, when you look at all of the ones that have developed since 1850, just about all of them that formed in the Caribbean either went north into the eastern Gulf or near northeast across Cuba into the Atlantic. There's only been one storm that developed in May that eventually made its way into Galveston. That was back in 1871. On the last day of May, a tropical depression formed near the Florida Keys and eventually found its way to Galveston. That was an unusual path for it to take. So it's not something we are concerned about personally here in southeast Texas, given history and the development zone, but it's something we're watching just in case there is that preseason development, especially those of you who may be heading to Florida toward next week as we get closer to Memorial Day.